So, what has to happen here is that Doctor Doom has to be very nice. All right, what is going on, my dudes? So we are back here today with Alliance War season number 23, episode number 11. Let me get situated here, sorry about that. Um, so anyway, man, this is the second to last war of the season. Poor Loki is just knocking on the door to Masters, man. If we win this war, well, we pretty much have it guaranteed. If not, then we're gonna have a really crazy, suspenseful 12th war, all right? Um, so this war was actually really fun for me um, because this was against my old alliance, D69. And um, I really love those guys. I'm still friends with a lot of the guys who are um, in that alliance. I talk to some of them um, all the time still in PMs and other chats as well. I'm actually still in the D69 group chat, you know, left on really, really good terms there. And um, it was a lot of fun going up against them in this war. They actually kicked me from the group um, like right when the war started and invited me back right as it ended too. So it was really funny. Um, but anyway, man, up first we had this domino here on path nine. And um, yeah, man. So that was a, a nice way to start the war. And up next, um, that was my only fight in section one and then in section two here we had this invisible woman um, against my buddy the interceptor here um, yeah man so this fight um, something pretty funny happens in this fight and we'll talk about it you know as we get there obviously um, we're just gonna keal off a tiny bit here um, just so we're going in with max health and um, yeah um, so I've fought Invisible Woman many, many times, and she is a little annoying on this node because as you can see, she briskly started out with that debuff on you, and then when you hit her with the shield, she puts those exhaustion debuffs on you, and if you get to three of those things, well, then she's gonna be unblockable until they fall off, and if she's unblockable and she goes invisible, well, you're not really gonna have the best time in the world, man. But we're doing good so far. You know, she's down to almost half health, right? Um, so all we have to do really here is just build up that special two and then toss off a nice big one, which we're about to do right here, but I'm gonna be very mindful of that shield because I don't want her going invisible mid special two, all right? So at this point, that's why I didn't want to happen. She went invisible, they're stubborn, and she's also unblockable. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and phase, build up to a special three, and get rid of her shield that way. So that worked out really, really nice. We also healed up to 100% help. We did a lot of corner vexing there. Um, so yeah, we're in a really good spot here. Um, tossing off the special three she shouldn't be invisible anymore and now watch this i go to dash back and she chases me and all of that corner dexing was pretty much for nothing man uh, so that's really funny i got a good laugh out of that at the moment um but you know we're in a really good spot to uh finish off this fight um we could still heal up a tiny bit from these debuffs if we if we play it carefully that way i could save a potion or two um that's one thing about fighting like you know mr fantastic and um invisible woman is that they give you so much willpower healing it's so nice it's, it's very nice man uh, i saves you a couple potions for sure you know um but you know we're gonna be leaving this health this um this fight is about 75 percent health so that's not too bad it's gonna cost one or two potions before going into the next one but um yeah man so that was it for i did you know those two pretty much in one go and then i'm gonna move up to annihilus and then i'm gonna do the remaining um couple of fights that i have including the boss kill all in one boost later on that night it was like four o'clock in the morning now um that we're gonna start out with this annihilus here now annihilus um, Nihilus always scares me using Ghost, especially in war and like normal content, I'm always good to go with him. But in war, one little mess up, man, and that's pretty much, pretty much curtains here, you know? Um, but you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We're boosted pretty big. I feel like if I time it properly, I can kill him in one special too. Um, so I'm trying to take a bunch of, um, you know, hits right into the face and go for phase medium to build a lot of power. If I can get two hits in, that's really great. Um, cause I want to get up to a special two and really get that off before he gets to use a special attack. And it's looking like we're just going to get it perfectly how we wanted to. So yeah, man, if he got off that special one, sometimes it can clip me. I can get an armor break and yeah. So up next we have immortal abomination here. Now I I would prefer to have a power start one boost here but unfortunately i didn't have any of those left man and they haven't been in the store for a while so i fought this guy here a couple wars back i didn't think he was too bad i still don't think he's too bad man but you have to do it properly right you have to be very careful with him that he doesn't get like um uh, his poisons and whatnot like too high when the uh when the shield is down and then it's gonna you know redouble determination it's gonna make it go up and whatnot so at this point i was trying to, i'm gonna try to get a couple of the poisons on me and knock off this special two and now the goal here like i did last time i have the passive fury what i wanted to do here was go right into a special three and kill him but watch that passive fury it just went away 
when I went for the special three. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go ahead and use my special three that's gonna have the ebb and flow protection on him. It's not gonna kill him. And now, after this, I don't know if you can see, he's at three bars of power. So I'm phasing right away. I'm gonna tank his special three. All right, he's at 6% health. We're still pretty much at a full, you know, yellow bar here almost. We're at 98% health. All I have to do is hit him one more time and we're gonna be good to go, right? So look at this, I'm phasing. We have the acid burn on, which is gonna do a lot of damage, but we have hood to phase some of that. So I'm gonna back up. I say, all right, man, here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna get one parry off and one medium should finish the fight. But there's something that I just was not aware of. Right here, I go to parry, but it turns out something that I learned after the fact here is that when acid burn is active, well, Immortal Abomination ends up going passively unblockable. So that kind of screwed me here not knowing that. So as you can see, a lot of damage is happening, and then I got parried, and then I got a nice, big, fat KO, man. So, oof. Yeah, man, it was a really great fight up until that point, right? You know, I talked about how easy I think this guy is, so I feel like that was a little bit of karma biting me in the butt there. If I just would have either intercepted him or if I would have, you know, phase intercepted him and whatnot. Um, I feel like it would have been good to go, but you know, I revived and whatnot. I healed up to full um, because, you know, I'm taking the boss and everything. So I had to go to full. But basically watch this one medium attack. That's, that's pretty much all it was, man. So if I just intercepted instead of going to parry, we would have been good to go, you know? Um, but hey man, it happens. So up next we have the spider gun here in the top right mini boss here. Um, you know, she has limber and spry and whatnot. I think I put a combat regen boost on just so I could heal up to full before the boss. Yes, I did. Um, because I'm running very low on items at this point, just because I was so I was boosted so heavily at this point. Um that it took so many potions to and like, you know, items and stuff to get back to um Full health for the boss that in case I did you know in case I die to the boss um, I want to make sure I have items to revive and finish it off if I have to right you know um, so yeah I'm gonna go right in for a second special two here and the spacing is just right that we can go for three in a row and finish her off man so that's always a really fun and cool way to finish off fights um, you know and, and war and, and stuff like that um, but yeah man so up next, we have this rank three SIG 200 Dr. Doom boss. And I'm pretty sure this guy was running max mystic dispersion here, five out of five. We got our big boy boosts on. We're gonna activate an invulnerability boost just in case, man. Now this fight is a lot of fun. This is my second Doom boss this season. Definitely feel like I want to redeem myself after um, you know the first one. It didn't go exactly as planned, but I'm feeling very prepared for this one, man. Um, so I'm trying my best actually not to um, get too many buffs because I don't I want to really really be, be aware of that mystic dispersion here right I'm also trying to intercept the bits so I don't have to take too many block hits but right off the bat we're gonna go for a special two here I had absolutely no hazard shifts on me which hurt me a little bit definitely hurt my damage but at this point um, I see I have one cruelty and whatnot um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bait out a special one, all right? And now, um, you know, I'm gonna just go ahead and turn all that into Passive Fury. I'm gonna try and time this so I can get off seven Passive Furies, man. I was hoping it would kill him, but it didn't. I'm gonna go for a special three at this point. I still have four Passive Furies. This is gonna put in a little bit of work. And now keep in mind, I am fully aware that Dr. Doom is up to three bars of power. So immediately I'm gonna phase. There we go. Perfect timing, man. So what has to happen here is that Dr. Doom has to be very nice and come in and fight us. So let's go ahead and see what happens, man. Um, so after this, man, we're facing that special and... Ooh, baby, there we go, man. So now I'm at 71% health, he's at 8% health, and we're doing pretty good, man. We're doing pretty good so far here. We got a little slap there, but the invulnerable and vulnerability boost came in. This would have been the end of it if it wasn't for Stubborn. Unfortunately, we got clipped a little bit there. Um, at this point, man, I, I think in the fight, I was not aware that um, he had Stubborn on him. I was thinking this was gonna kill him for some reason. And now I have to dex out this entire special two here. Um, well, not really, I could phase some of it, um, but I have to deal with the special two in general, right? But at this point, man, he's at 8% health. 
She's at 8% health, man, at this point. Oh my goodness gracious. Now the Mystic Dispersion is coming into play. I have four passive furies on me. All I have to do is just take a little blocked hit and go for the special one. He's not, there we go. We finally got rid of it, man. Now, if we can just bait out one more heavy attack, we're gonna be good to go with the special one. Oh my God, man. He did not make the end of that fight, you know, easy for me, man. He definitely, definitely made that pretty hard. Um, I'm not, you know, watching that back, I'm not 100% sure if that was 5 out of 5 MD. I'm pretty sure I fought a Doom in um, the 12th War as well. Um, that was definitely 5 out of 5 MD. But who knows, man? It could have been like 3, 4, or 5. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, man. I wasn't watching it too carefully just now. Um, but anyway, man, yeah, that was a bit of a crazy war. And unfortunately, we did end up losing this war. Um, so that definitely sucks. So now what we have to do is we have to come back and finish really, really strong in war number 12. That way we can, you know, just really lock up that Masters for Loki, man. But it was really, really fun going up against my old alliance. Um, there was a lot of, uh, you know, civil trash talk going on. Uh, so that was a lot of fun um but yeah so when it comes to individual stats man that brought me up to 56 kills and six deaths 90 percent solar rating tdr 74.37 solar rate bonus is negative 3.35 and the power rating is 64.6 and that's going to bring us to four and seven on the season man which is just really really not good for us man you know we finished when it comes to um the war of displacement seasons man we've um we had third place and then like fourth place two times in a row now this is like we're, we're just like knocking on the door of masters really hoping that we we uh, clinch it man so yeah i don't know what happened man it's it's the same group of people from the past couple months essentially basically too so who knows just not our season i guess right but yeah man anyway that's gonna be it for war number 11 of season 23 i do hope you enjoyed it if you did drop your boy a big old like comment what you think about that crazy doom boss in the comment section below and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that last war to find out if we clinch masters or not i'll be coming to you real soon seen you around.